Welcome back again to Movies in the Man Cave. I'm Cody. And I'm Jared. This week, we ventured outside the Man Cave to do something a little special. We went to the theaters to catch a premiere of Thor, Thor, so we could give you a synopsis of that movie. Basically, Thor is the story of the Norse god Thor, the god of thunder. Uh, he reignites an old war that he probably shouldn't have. He gets banished from Asgard to Earth, of all places, and basically just has to try to regain the hammer so he can regain his powers and try to save Asgard. That's the short and skinny of it, yeah. I suppose, yeah. Uh, going into this movie, it being Marvel, I had high expectations, mm -hmm. um, just because they've done so many good movies recently. Uh, it started off at Asgard, which is the god's home planet or universe, whatever you yeah. want to call it. Uh, not my favorite part of the movie. It's really two halves of movies as far as I can tell. You had Asgard and you had Earth. Earth yeah. And they really seemed like two different movies. And when it was in Asgard, I really felt like it was just a giant CG fest. Right. Uh, everything was computer graphics. It was this big, miraculous city, but it, it looked kind of fake to me. Yeah. Um, nothing really stood out, um, and I, I just wasn't too impressed. Uh, when the movie moved to Earth is really when I got into it. Yeah. Um, it, it just seemed to move along better. Everything seemed real. That's when they introduced Natalie Portman's character and some other scientists that she was traveling with. Uh, that's when Thor runs into S.H.I.E.L.D., who's been appearing in the Marvel movies. Yep. Kind of all the stuff I was looking forward to. I didn't really care about the, the God's plot line so much as his struggles on Earth, and that's what I really liked. Uh, along those same lines, I felt there was two different types of action scenes. There was the action scenes when he was in Asgard or on the Frost World mm -hmm. um, that were just so fast i mean you couldn't yeah. see what was happening i thought it no. was just jump cut after jump cut and after I'm, jump cut i'm really glad we didn't see it in 3d because that uh, it would have been so hard to pay attention i would have walked out i would have yeah <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't have been, been able, able to tell what was going anything. on it was so fast to begin with yep um but then on earth whenever there was an action scenes for instance when he's infiltrating shield to try to get his hammer back yep those were amazing awesome. action yeah. seats great great fights um yep he, he did a great job there, and then at the end of the movie, it goes back to Asgard, and they have another final battle scene, which, again, I wasn't too impressed with. Mm -mm. So uh, that's just basically my general synopsis is everything on Earth I really, really liked. Everything in Asgard was just kind of okay. Right. Uh, same thing with the villains. Uh, I didn't particularly care for the villain in this movie. I really liked more the... Uh, robot destroyer yep. that was sent destroyer. to earth and that's where the big battle the was, was on really earth. Sweet. <laughs> it was it was a cool yeah. but that wasn't the main villain that was just like a bodyguard yeah, type of thing exactly. that really it's the mini boss of the level exactly so. but i liked it a lot better than the main boss right um as far as thor uh, cast perfectly yeah uh, chris right. hemsworth I've never seen him in anything yeah. as a major role before. It's basically out of nowhere. He, he knocked it out of the park. Exactly. I mean, he fits the Norse god look. He fits the Marvel hero look. Um, he seems like a really good actor. I don't have a lot to go off of, but yeah. I thought he was perfect in this role. Yeah, and there was that, you know, just there's a point where you get to see him, like, as Thor. And at that point in the movie, it's just like, you just get jacked up because it's like, that's Thor, you yeah. know, and it's just, it just, it works out perfectly. I thought they did a really good job with how, how they made him look and everything. The costume to go along with that, I thought was done really well. It, yep. it was very great costumes all around. That's probably the one thing that stood out from Asgard was that everybody had a really nice costume. Yeah, it part. was all like medieval looking, but also futuristic and yeah, it was really sweet. And that was the one real thing. Everything else was CG. The costumes are real yeah, and that's exactly. what I happened to enjoy. So, overall, I, I enjoyed this movie. It, it, to me, it's not up there with the first Iron Man movie. It's not up there with Batman Begins or Dark Knight. It's more in the uh, Incredible Hulk release of 2008 range. Um, it, it was good. I'll definitely add it to the collection. I'll yeah. definitely want to see it again. I'll definitely see it again. But it's not one I'm going to watch over and over and over like Iron Man. Right. W what did you think? I, I pretty much agree with everything you were saying. Um, you know, the battle scenes on, on the Ice World and on Asgard, and th you know, they, it was super fast-paced. Uh, for me, you know, and it's, you know it's, there just wasn't enough action with the hammer. You know, and it kind of has this, you know, place in the storyline of why it can't be, but, 
you know, there's a scene on the ice planet where he's just like whooping everybody with that hammer. And it was sweet, you know, and yeah. he calls up the lightning and is doing his Thor thing. And that was just awesome. Whereas the action on earth is just him beating people up with his fist. It's, it was really cool. But at the same time, you didn't really get to see Thor in action, you know, how you would have wanted to. Um, story wise for me, it had a little bit of a love story in it where I didn't really think it needed it, you know, and yeah. It's going to happen, though. I, it is. It's going to happen in the movie. Have, Especially yeah, if you have Natalie Portman in there. Somebody's going to fall in love with exactly. her. Exactly. Which, how many scientists do you know that look like Natalie Portman? Not, not enough. Not, uh, not enough at all. Um, other than that, I thought the story was done really good. Again, they did the tie-in with all the S.H.I.E.L.D. things and everything like that. Um, you know, they had the references to all the other movies. Not all the other movies, but, you know, throwbacks to the other movies, uh, which I think they're doing a stupendous job with tying it's just, all these things. It's building me up to crumble because they're building everything to this Avengers movie that's supposedly coming out. Yeah. And I'm going to have my hopes up so high and I know they're just going to break my heart. By the time comes, none of the actors it's are going to sign break my heart. Yeah, I hope I'm be. wrong. I hope it's amazing. It'll end up being a silver surfer. At least the build-up is there and the excitement is there. Yeah, and, and like you were saying too, with, I mean, we always have Iron Man. If everything right. goes wrong, we always have that. But yeah, I thought Thor was was pretty good. Um, it had a little bit of humor in it we haven't talked about yeah. it, you know i hate to bring up iron man all the time but i loved iron man for the sarcastic humor that tony stark had yeah. i mean every line he had it just he's made just, you laugh he yeah, was good just, you could tell he was he was pompous, pompous but it word. was a great lines this one had humor it didn't have humor on that level it was more right. of a slapstick fish out of water adjusting yeah. to yeah. being not a god anymore type of thing yeah it which was, worked it, it played funny. yeah, yeah. And but it's not something that'll stick with you, I don't think. No, but I don't know. What do you do? I thought he did a good job at it, though. It was good. It was good. And like you mentioned, we saw it in t- 2D. I would, I would recommend it in 2D. No point during the entire course of the movie did I say, I wish we were seeing this in 3D. Yeah. I wanted to see that scene in 3D. Not one time. No. There, there's a couple of scenes where you could say, like, yeah, that probably would have looked cool, but really, I'm not going to spend that money and get the headache for no. one little scene. So. Good movie. Would you give it a letter grade? Do you want to do that or not uh, so much? If I had to give it a letter grade, I'd probably give it a B, B minus, something like that. It was pretty good. I, you know, for being a comic book movie, usually, you know, those flop, but I thought they did a really good job with it. So I personally don't know much about the Thor story, but I felt like I don't like think you could it's go... one that people know a lot about. Yeah, but I, I felt like, you know. Went right into it, and I liked it. Uh, worth the ticket. Go see it. 2D. In 2D. <laughs> yeah. in two, worth the 2D price. Maybe not the 3D price. That's okay. Right. Last week, we left you with a quote, and that quote was, You have a very strong arm, princess. Okay, please put, put the, the monkey, monkey down. down. Jared, did we get a winner this we week? We did get a winner. The winner was Tracy Dvorak. Congratulations. Very nicely done. We're going to take a look at the clip, see if you can identify it from this. You have a very strong arm, princess. Okay, please, put the monkey down. It went along last week's theme, like we told you. It was a yep. Disney animated feature, and that movie is The Princess and the Frog. Which this is also a pretty good movie. It was so. uh, one of the newer Disney ones yep. that was released last year. Is that a 2010, most likely? I believe so, last year, 2009. Okay. So, kind of a... An oddball quote, I thought. So It was definitely out there. We did have a guess for Aladdin, which was my guess when you first told me the quote. That's right. I think just because the people monkey. are so focused on Abu, <laughs> yep. that that's their Disney monkey go-to. So yep. This week's quote, one of my favorites. Um, let's see if you can get this one. It's, where does he get those wonderful toys? And that one is also sort of based on... Sort of theme-related the theme to today. Related. Just yeah. a little hint for you. That's all you're getting, though. You have to figure the rest out on your own. Is there anything coming to the theaters this week that you're looking forward to, Jerry? Um, A graphic novel or a comic book movie, uh, again. uh, One I'm not familiar with, but Priest. I don't think very well known. No, but it looks pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, scary, you know, crazy movies, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, Graphics look pretty good. Another vampire movie. It's vampire related. Yeah, hopefully it's, you know. It's not Twilight. Yeah, hopefully it's not Twilight. So are you taking a step in the right direction? It's got Paul Paul Bettany. Is that right? I believe that's his name. Sure. I I like him. He was in uh, uh, the Jousting movie, Knight's Tale. Knight's Tale? Yeah, he played Chaucer in that. Oh, okay. Yeah, Yeah. that guy. 
Uh, also coming out this week is Bridesmaids, which uh, basically to me seems like The Hangover, but for women. Women. Which is why I've taken to calling it The Hangoveries. That is not trademarked yet, so feel free to go ahead and use that if you guys want. Um, That's what it's going to be called in France when they're The Hangoveries. <laughs> the Hangoveries. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Uh, and the other movie that I'm really looking forward to is a Will Ferrell movie called Everything Must Go. Have you seen something on that? I saw a couple of clips and a few previews. It looks it's something kind of out of his ballpark, kind of like Stranger Than Fiction. That's exactly what I would equate it's, it to. It's not it's not as you know elf and weird. Funny it's guy. toned down Will Ferrell, which yeah. he's done a really good job with when he's tried. I think. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, uh, that's what's coming out this week. Anything else? I got nothing. All right, this is the third episode. Uh, I would say episodes one through three, less disappointing than Star Wars episodes one through three. Ooh, yeah, snap! I went there. So I hope you think the same thing. Go ahead and put your guesses to our quote in the comments down below. And anything else that you want to let us know, go ahead and put it down there as well. And I guess we'll see you next week.